Hello, this is Marvelyn Brown, and today we are going to take a look at the Hobby, Skills, and Interest Inventory. So this is just five questions that you should answer, and this is basically the way that you want to start your online business. You want to start a business doing something you love. So you want to do something that ties in with um, something that you are strong in, something that you are really you know interested in and a lot of us have had things that we have worked on informally things that we've done on jobs and then things that we've been interested in away from our work life our formal work life so we want to look at those using this inventory we want to kind of take a quick look um, and just look at yourself look at some of the things that you've been interested in throughout the years and then we're going to go from there so um, the first question asks you to check off the areas, three of the areas um, that are listed here, the three that interest you the most. So you might be interested a little bit in some of these, and then you might be interested a lot in others. So I want you to pick three. Now, if you don't find what you're looking for here, you have a place where you can write in an interest. So if you don't find anything on this list that you like, then that means you need to um, maybe pick out, you know, three areas and just write them in. And this is, you know, I didn't say this in the beginning, but this is a, a downloadable uh, document. So you want to make sure you download this and then you can fill it out using a pen and paper. I'm sorry, not a, not a piece of paper, but just a pen. All you need is a pen. So um, after you have selected the three areas that interest you most, then you're going to Write down the skills that you've obtained from a job, from life experiences, or volunteer work that would help you run a business in these areas. So from the three areas you selected up here, just write down the skills that kind of tie in with that. So you write your skill here, and then maybe the number of years of experience. And sometimes we don't even know how many years we've been involved in a certain thing that we've been interested in, but just kind of write down a ballpark figure. Or you can also write down whether you feel that you are a beginner, um, intermediate or advanced level, um, you know, person or, you know, your experiences at the beginner level, intermediate or advanced. And that way it kind of gives you a quick look at your skills and how comfortable you feel when it comes to pursuing a business um, in the areas that we have uh, talked about in question number one. So just take a quick minute to write down some of the skills that come to mind that will help you to uh, run a business in these areas. So some of the skills, so let's think about this. So some of the skills that we might have if we have worked in um, a job. So if you have dealt with customers, you have customer service experience, if you are someone who is good at organizing and you know categorizing things then you might put that down as a skill and then you know maybe you did this as part of your job but um, you just write down maybe the number of years that you worked that particular job or if it's something that you really feel strong about you can say i'm an advanced user i'm an advanced i'm at an advanced level in this area if you have um you know, and when you think about even when you are uh, doing things at home, so you run a household, um, how many years have you ran a household? And then how uh, comfortable do you feel at that particular skill? So it takes skill to run a household, you know, whether it's paying bills, you know, how good are you with your finances? Maybe you, if you excel at doing budgets, um, that's something that you can write down. If you are good at, you know, um, organizing and managing maybe you're good at decorating your home that's also something that we do in our home that we may not do on a particular job so think about things that you do at home as well as what you might do on a job and then also think about your volunteer work so if you are always being called on to volunteer uh, to organize things or to plan events you know, a lot of times we plan events for our family. We plan our vacations. We plan reunions. We plan get togethers with our friends. We plan parties. You know, we plan showers, etc. 
So, you know, don't just think about one area of your life. Think about all the different areas of your life and the things that you have done over time, things that you've even been interested in. So maybe you have been interested in and you've kind of dilly dallied in, you know, floral, floral arrangement. I can't even say that word. Um, but you know, if you have dilly dallied in certain things over the years and maybe you haven't had time to really sit down and work on it, then you want to think about those things as well. So maybe you have an interest in making jewelry or you have an interest in, um, you know, photography, but you haven't actually done it. Then in that case, you could write down that skill and you could say beginner, because that's something that you might want to get into, but you haven't done it yet. So these are just some ideas that I'm, you know, thinking of as I go through this. What industries have you worked in or volunteered in? So it's very important for you to understand uh, various industries. So if you're making certain types of products, those products fall under a certain industry. And you wanna make sure that you have a clear understanding of whatever industry you choose to work in. Because the industry, industries are, are really important because they tell you where the money is. So, you know, certain industries make lots and lots and lots of money. So you wanna be in those areas where people are, you know, where businesses are thriving and they're making lots of money. Now, the money comes from consumers. So those consumers are in those industries spending money and you wanna tap into some of those consumers and make them into your uh, customers or at least get them into your audience. Now, if you knew you could be successful in reaching your financial goals, doing something you enjoy, what would it be? That's a very important question as well because you want to build an online business that you enjoy. Number five, is there something you've always been complimented on? So for example, if you've been recognized, if you've won awards, if you've received honorable, honorable mention, maybe you've won competitions or you've received kudos for a hobby, um, interest or work accomplishment, you want to write that down. If your friends and family are always raving about things like your cooking, or you're constantly being asked to organize, you know, work or family events, write it down. You know, a lot of times people will give us a compliment and we'll let it go right over, you know, our heads. We won't think anything of it, but if you're consistently being complimented and, you know, you're being asked to do certain things on a regular basis, that means that people think you are good at it. They wouldn't be asking you to do it if they thought you sucked at it. So. Um, you definitely want to capture that kind of um, uh, activity as well. And then number six, you want to take all the information from questions one through five and write a short paragraph about the kind of business you would like to run from home. So this is really just kind of a quick way for you to narrow down some of the areas that you might want to work in um, when it comes to having an online business. So the next thing that we're gonna work on is helping you to find a niche and do your market research. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the lesson.